okay welcome back and let's continue it from my last uh, part of this series so if you have not seen that last part you may take a link from the description box and take my previous video link from there you can watch it out uh, how we have configured a sensor device and IoT hub and everything so now we are just configuring it uh, the sensor simulator at on-premises or at uh, internet you can say so now I have to execute a command .NET add package Microsoft Azure dot device dot client here. So let this is the command that I need to execute it. So that will provision the complete package here. Uh, I will add these commands in description box so you can take it from there. It's basically install the Azure IoT devices SDK. And now in the last I have to run a command that is uh, .NET restore. If you have a, some developer background then okay you can see it's ensured that all the projects are up to date to restore. Let me quickly show you. This is what we have in the folder at this moment. Okay and now just let, uh, let's go to code studio sorry studio code and in the visual studio code open this location that is the folder okay uh, let me just open this folder it will look for now you can see the program which we have just built that it is available this is program.cs and the test device which we have just built here okay it's asking for the rebuild the missing information so let me just quickly click on yes so this will create a couple of more folders and complete the build for this so that will be available in here if you are a developer then you have uh, you must have a good uh, background or good idea on that how we can build the sensor but i'm just i will share these codes uh, also how we are going to use it and how we will test it out if you want to add uh, let me just maximize this okay so if I want to add the JSON code I can add it here as the additional package uh, for JSON you can add it uh, here it's up to you and uh, the next one is still in unsave you can just click on file and save as save it rest if you go back in I'll try as admin okay because on the folder it is an admin permission required and I have not opened the my visual studio as an admin permission so anyways so this is the program dot cs which I already have here so let me add uh, its a uh, code as system dot console so we can see in the terminal window me resave it and run it okay. uh, now I just go into terminal window just taking a new terminal window to execute this command to so just test it out my program base structure is uh, working fine or not so to this uh, we have to just run the dotnet and execute the command dotnet run let me see if it is working fine that means the debug and everything is working so you can see the build failed the fix the build error and run access is denied on the path so let me just go close this studio and reopen this as is run as administrator The reason behind is that I have uh, created a folder that is uh, with admin permissions. Okay, 
so it's working fine perfectly nothing it was just a permission issue because i have created a folder with the admin permissions and not open this visual studio so let's okay no issue and let's continue and keep the sensor code here so we can see it so let's open the sensor code uh, i already have a code written here that i will share with you guys so you can also use the same codes let me quickly open this okay so this is the code and i will share the same course with you guys also so you can take it from the description link and the same code you can paste it here the thing what you need to replace it let me this is the device sensor code a sample code is here if you have a already created sensor you have a device you can add that just add this connection string connection string here to make this sensor accessible let me add it here and just save this the codes are already in the description box uh, this is a text file you can copy that from there and paste it here the same thing you can uh, do uh, if you want you can write it the codes by yourself uh, also as per your simulation so it nothing it will do it will what it will do is just creating a sensor and uh, basically it will generate a random numbers and then it will send in the form of messages along with the date time to the cloud or in our azure environment with the help of this uh, connection string that we have copied in the last video if you remember let's clear it and execute it i think i have done something wrong i need to go back in the same location Okay, so we are ready to execute this and see the result. Okay, dot net and run. Okay, so now the welcome message is there and now it's started sending message uh, temperature to cloud. How we will verify the same. So let's just go back at Azure portal. Let me reconnect. It's timed out. So I'm just going to reconnect it uh, with terminal bash. Okay, is it log on to log in it in my Azure portal? Okay, quickly log in it in the portal so we can next just. I'm just trying to log in it okay so the my shell is logged in I need to put the command uh, monitor here so let me just I need a couple of things the first one is name of the sensor that is we have here copy it and just keep it aside and then I need a hub name my IOT hub name so this is the IOT hub name which we have here let me just paste it this one here okay so now we have to just run the command az IOT hub monitor monitor events hub name and now I need to put the name of my hub that is which we have created then I need a device ID device ID is your sensor name 
and press the enter and see okay it's in dependency it's asking us to continue let's click on yes it will update uh, this dependency and then execute starting now you can see we are getting received uh, temperature like here it's 68 68.57 68 77 68 so now just go to my window that is this window i'm just uh, resizing it okay now both are a uh, side by side you can see the temperature that has been sent by here it's also receiving here 21 21 then 21.84 24 point uh, sorry 31.30.78 uh, and the same one is here so like whatever the temperatures are available here that would be displayed in the my azure panel also let me just uh, put a side by side window so you can quickly see the temperature which is displayed here but quickly it would be updated here also the same one it's sending it and here its events are getting received so once i break it here then it will be start breakdown uh, bash also or cell uh, cloud azure also see the last which is received here and might be the entry which we can see it somewhere because it's break the session and now this is the temperature is also breaked here this is what exactly we have in environment you can see the last one is temperature 22.35 and 69 here also 22.35 and 69 the last one which is sent because I break uh, this uh, command or break this uh, program so this is how we can see this uh, temperature is sent by the device which we have configured here a couple of other options that are available in the iot hub you can just click on this you can configure the access and identity certificate and the certificate configuration if you want to add it here is the iot devices which we are uh, what we have added here one sensor you can add the multiple sensors we have an other options we can like add the automatic provisioning of devices also we can place the configurations here's the query explorer to explore the things if you want to run execute queries and etc we may try to i will try to discuss more on this uh, might be if i create a complete series related to iot because iot required a little bit development work as well as a more uh, specific to focus on this iot development but if you want to simply deploy and test this configuration or just want to understand how the iot is working this is more than sufficient uh, i will share the code sample code uh, which i used to create this uh, program or visual studio codes i will share it with you you have to deploy the visual studio code at your testing machine as well as you have to deploy the dotnet framework so dotnet sdk I will share the link of both links uh, .NET, uh, framework as well as uh, with your studio code links you can download and install it in your machine and at the time of testing you can test it out so that's all about the testing related to a base initial testing on iot you can build your device and test it out if you have any queries you can write it in the description box or uh, and if you want to watch the entire series you can take the link from uh, this particular uh, videos description section the entire playlist would be there you can take it from there thanks for watching and keep watching it uh,